Well, you know, it could be a white Christmas for, for a lot of us here this year. Yeah, the Pacific Northwest seeing some interesting developments as we head into the week. And I want to stress it's still so early in this forecast, so we can't quite pinpoint the amount of snow, location of snow, how much snow and where it will go. But uh, we're watching a consistent pattern that cold air is coming enough to prime the area uh, for some snowfall. So we are watching this forecast very closely. No snow today and actually no rain this morning either. Mid 30s in Portland, a great morning to step outside, get some exercise in. Notice those temperatures will sit in the 30s likely until about 10 o'clock. So bundle up here, but a great morning again to walk the pups outside. Grasses will still be muddy. Keep that in mind. Also today, great day to hit the road if you're traveling over the holidays uh, or just get in some of that Christmas shopping. We'll see dry conditions through the afternoon. We're cold all around the valley too, down to Salem, upper 30s there and Hillsboro close to freezing. There is some denser fog on the west sides of Portland right now, so do be careful on those roadways. Quick look up to the mountains. We're seeing some clearing up there. About five feet of snow now at base at about 5,000 feet. So the last couple of weeks have just been very generous to us and have brought a lot of snow here for those skiers. Again, a great day to hit those slopes today. Uh, again, in the valley, mid 40s throughout the afternoon. We'll see mostly cloudy skies and then we start to increase those clouds. Also, rain returns late tonight. We'll track our next weather system that brings back some of that wet stuff here across Portland and the Valley as we head our way into tonight. Do you want to mention a winter storm warning attached to our next storm as well? Excuse me, winter storm watch. So a chance we see another foot of snow here that starts up late tonight into our Wednesday. We just saw a foot of snow yesterday. We could possibly see another foot here falling at about 3000 feet and above. So uh, we will see some tough travel as we head into the next couple of days here, especially on Wednesday. Here's that view of government camp. Now notice that a lot of the roads here are bare uh, and just wet. That snow has melted off through yesterday, but our snow levels are falling. Uh, we are seeing some of that snow here across the medians. The drive today should be OK. It's tomorrow. I'm a little concerned as we bring back some of that snowfall and a chance we see some accumulation out towards government camp, possibly two to four inches more throughout Wednesday night and then out to Willamette Pass, for example, that sits higher at about 5,000 feet. We could see five to nine inches, so a few of those routes up and over the Cascades will be tough. If you can get out today and you're traveling across the uh, state here, uh, maybe leave today uh, and again avoid all that snow on the way as we head into our Wednesday. So let's talk about our Christmas weekend. If you notice here up to the north, we have this big area, this big Arctic air mass that will start to plunge into the Pacific Northwest as we head our way into the week. Notice that cold air spreading across the West Coast and that will dip all the way down into areas of Portland and areas of Oregon as we head into the end of our weekend. So we're just priming our area uh, to get cold enough temperatures to see that snow falling and even sticking. I do see a chance now that time frame or a better idea that we maybe see some snowfall as we head into our Sunday. Take a look at our temperature trend too. This has been fairly consistent across models, even though it is early in the forecast. Just take a look at how those temperatures just nosedive by the time we hit the weekend into next week. The coldest temperatures right now likely by the middle of next week. But notice how many days away that still is. So there's time for this forecast to adjust. Possibly that cold air uh, starts to shift and it stays further up north and we don't get as cold. So uh, again, there is still a chance that we don't see any snow. But right now with these cold temperatures in place, there is a chance that we do see some snow around our Christmas weekend. So quick look at our future cast here. We stay dry through today. Rain likely back in the valley here as we head into our seven eight o'clock hour tonight so keep that in mind some wet weather on the way showers continue into wednesday that turn heavier by the afternoon heading into thursday a few showers here around the portland metro area will keep snow going into the mountains tough travel on thursday as well by friday we're seeing those snow levels dipping that cold air is arriving and by the time we hit sunday we may trans transition more to a rain snow mix uh, by sunday chance we see all snowfall so we're watch this closely. Keep your eyes and ears here on the forecast and prep to see some rain back in Portland by late tonight. It is 649 and time now for the top six stories to start your day. Portland police are investigating a homicide in the Goose Hollow neighborhood.